Hey guys, at BB Matson here, and today we're installing a USB outlet. I've been wanting to install one of these USB outlets in the kitchen for quite some time, so I figured, hey, it's a great opportunity to show you how to do it. Now, the first thing, once you go pick up your setup, make sure you get a plate. Here's the outlet we're going to focus on today. Um, there's two outlets here, but we don't really ever use them. So we're going to switch it over to a USB port. Before you can get started with the install, you have to ensure that the power is off at the outlet. Now, how I like to do this is I like to grab a bobby pin, just like this, and insert that into the outlet. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. No, Will Robinson. Danger. Yeah, of course, hopefully you can pick up that I'm being completely sarcastic there. You do not want to stick a bobby pin into the outlet to test whether or not the power's on or off. What we really need to do is go down to the fuse box. All right, and, and here's the fuse box. We're basically going to open it up with a little flashlight. We're going to take a look, and we're going to look for the kitchen, which is right there. And that says it is number 12. So we're going to go to the box. And we're going to shoot number 12 here, and we're going to shut that off. Now that you've shut off the power on the breaker, it's always nice to just double check. So I really love this little tool here. Uh, it's a sensitivity tester for outlets. And uh, what do they call it, actually? A voltage tester. And what you can do is you can see, make sure that there's no power there. So all you're going to do is you're going to insert it into the outlet. If it doesn't beep, you're good to go. And now, just for your reference, I want to show you what happens to the voltage meter when there is power to the outlet. Oh, and if you don't have one of these fancy little voltage testers, use anything. Go grab a little alarm clock. Go grab a radio. Plug it in. Just make absolutely sure that there's no power running through that outlet before you start working on it. Let's start taking things apart. The first thing you need to do is remove the plate. Simply just a straight screwdriver, flathead. Take the screw out, and the plate should come right off, exposing the outlet. Next, you're going to see two screws on the top and bottom of the outlet. You want to take those out. They can be a little long-winded sometimes. And once you have that, you simply want to pull the outlet straight out. Now, one important thing to be looking at on this outlet is this green wire. That is your ground. You don't want to lose place of that. And on this side, you have wires. And on the opposite side, you also have a set of wires. Now let's take a little closer look at the USB outlet. What you'll see right away is that there's only one screw and there's two screws on the actual outlet. Don't worry because if you flip it over, there's actually two holes right here and here to be able to insert those two wires. Also, here's your green screw. Your green screw is always gonna be your ground. So you have your green screw, green screw. That wire is going to go there. Flip it over to the other side. Again, you only have one screw here. There are two screws on the side of this, but don't worry because again, there are two small ports on the back side of that. So this is going to be an extremely easy replacement. Now the first step is to just let's unloosen the ground. Let's get that grounding wire out of there. So our ground is released. Now I kind of like to just kind of move right along um, the order of things as I'm moving through things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the outlet here and I'm going to immediately plug that ground onto the new outlet. It's like that, hopefully you can see that. And we'll screw this in. Perfect. And now that we have that, 
Also notice on outlets, it's always like this. Okay, that's important. Always the two eyes and the mouth. All right, you, you don't want to be installing them like that. Then you know you're, 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 you're messing some things up. So always two eyes and a mouth. All right, and the next part is taking off of the white plugs. The white wires, excuse me. So I'm going to back those out as far as we can get them. And try and pull these off of here. Sometimes these can be a real bear, but you just got to kind of work them out. Sometimes a flathead screwdriver can help a lot too. I'm trying to push some of that out of the way. There we go. There's one. That's our top one. There's that one. And now this is a little bit different plug that we have here. So these are actually sliding in instead of going around. So I'll need a little pair of needle nose pliers to straighten those wires out. All right, now that these are straightened out, I can now take those and push these in to the receptacle. Make sure they're nice and tight. And simply tighten down the screw. And let's do the same thing on this side. Get that out of the way, and let's undo these. Just got to get a little aggressive with it to get these off of here. There you go. And these black. Now black is hot with this kind of stuff. That's one thing you got to remember. So the power's off, but these are typically your hot wire black hot because you know if you're working with audio stuff a lot of times the black is actually the ground so it's a little bit different than that so don't be thinking oh black ground black ground it's a little bit different when you're working with outlets and things so let's just move those let's get that a little bit straighter there we go and then we're going to back out the screw I'm going to insert our hot wires into the receptacle here and take that, make sure those are in there good, and tighten this down. And there you have it. We essentially have two new USB outlets attached to this. Next thing you got to do you push it all back in the box, but be careful, you know, not to get this ground wire, you know, up into here or take, you know, you want to do a nice clean job of just kind of pushing this back into the wall and lining this up. That looks fine right there. So then line up these screws. Get these in here. And tighten the whole thing right back up. There, and that'll do it. And you don't have to go like super tight with these, um, just so it's hanging in there. Now, the last step is actually installing this plate. And one thing to remember is that our old plate had a center screw. This doesn't have a center screw. So you're actually gonna have to use that little hole at top of that screw there to make this work. And once you get the wall plate in place, all you gotta do is tighten up the screws to hold the wall plate on and that's it you're done you have a usb outlet and a regular 110 plug outlet uh, on your wall and this is going to really be a great addition to the kitchen but first let's test it out now just test it out let's plug it in and see if the iphone lights up boom success so there you have it installing a usb outlet into the wall is a piece of cake Keep in mind though that this was originally two outlets and I basically replaced it with the same thing, only a USB variant on one side. If you have 
like four outlets, like one of the one, two, three, fours. I'm not sure how that would really work, so you'd want to dig in a little bit deeper. This is basically to straight up replace and go into that. So with that, thanks for watching. If you found it helpful, give it a like and uh, you know, give me a subscribe. I'll be doing more of these how-tos in the future. Make it a great day.